So we're back in Arakar, in the wild west of Scotland, and we're after Red Stag. Now, it's a rut and they're roaring all over the place here, but we're not necessarily after a trophy. As you can see behind me, there's a lot of forestry plantations here and the reds do a fair amount of damage. So if we see a big fella, then fair enough, but to be honest with you, I really don't mind. This is a, a management job. So what I brought for the task at hand is this, my Ruger M77 All Weather in 306 Springfield. I'm using 185 grain Lapua Megas, which is, you know, probably my favourite round for, for decent sized deer and, and uh, antelope. And on top of that, I've got my Zeiss Victory Davari HT 3 to 12 by 56 scope. Now the HT stands for high transmission, probably the highest light transmission of any scope on the market. Clear sight picture and perfect 3 to 12 magnification range. Either, either if you're up close and personal in one of these gullies or if you're going to take a 200 yard shot uh, from uh, across a ridge. It's done me well so far and it's perfect for these conditions. Come hell or high water, this rifle's going to perform. So, we've done the hard work getting up here. We're pretty much at the top. Now we've got to be sneaky. Have a look for some hinds and see if there's a stag lurking nearby and get up close and personal and see if we can start our harvest. These mountains in the wild west of Scotland are teeming with magnificent Scottish red stags roaring away in the rut and there's plenty to choose from. However, my guide, Willie Merrilees of Service UK, has his eye on one stag in particular and insists he knows where the beast can be found. We reach a spot in the mountain that's perfect for glassing across the valleys and ridges and it isn't too long before Willie spots our stag. Okay. So, we can see a young stag there just on the uh, horizon. Now he's facing away from us with his face into the wind. So we're going to come down, down this valley, see if we can use the uh, hillside there as cover. And go up and get a shot at him. He's got a pretty good vantage point from where he is. But we've got an opportunity of using some fantastic natural cover. Let's see how we get on. We move along the mountain tops, passing stunning scenery beautiful freshwater burns and even more steep inclines as we approach our stag. Nestled on the crest of the mountain across a small valley from our stag, we lay in wait. He's grazing away on the mountainside, totally oblivious to our presence, but he's a little too high for a safe shot. We need a safe and substantial backstop as the 185 grain Lapua Mega will undoubtedly exit the beast at this range. However, Willie and I have played this game before. It's all about patience. If he goes over the top, we'll need to move position. Thankfully, he moves slowly down the mountain and surely it can't be too long before he'll offer a shot. Unfortunately, this stag doesn't want to play ball. He sits up there on the mountainside and looks ready for his afternoon nap. I'm not happy to take my shot until he stands, and so we wait. The stag is lying down, and he keeps switching his gaze from over to our right to directly towards us. Now there's some hinds on the skyline, so what we can do is move into position, get up behind the rifle, and wait for him to stand up. Only then can we take our shot, but we've got to be patient, and we've got to be very slow. I think we've got a good chance here though. After an hour or so of patient waiting, the weather takes a turn for the worse. The wind picks up, the rain begins to fall, and it becomes very, very cold as we lay on the damp mountain. It's at times like these I'm thankful I brought the right kit for the job. My Deer Hunter Tempest smock and trousers keep me warm and dry. We wait, wait and wait some more as the stag dozes for a little while, begins to move and gives us hope, but then settles down again and dozes a little more. And him. And now he's looking alert and he's shifted around. So let's hope he decides to stand up. I'm very wet. Here he is. Right. Here we go. Just wait for him to go broadside. Standing front onto us, I still can't take my shot. 
I need him to move and stand broadside without heading back up the mountain and into the skyline once again. He turns broadside with his eyes clearly locked on something he sees in the distance. Before he can move, I take my shot. It's good and I'm confident he'll drop. He tries to kick his legs and make a dash for it, but stumbles and eventually falls a little way down the mountain. And he's gone straight down. Well, that's just phenomenal. He's down. He went straight down to the shot. He's still down there now. Absolutely perfect. Now this is what it's about, patience. You just take your time. Uh, we had a great stalk into him. He was lying there with some hinds, uh, just looking out, facing into the wind. Um, he, we had him skylined <coughs> on the top of that ridge there. Um, broadside, perfectly broadside, no, but no safe shot. And as he came back down, we thought we'd be able to take another shot at him. But unfortunately, just as he came broadside, he lay straight down. And uh, it, the moss is cold. Uh, it's actually not too wet, it hasn't, it hasn't gone through the tempest, uh, through the material. But as you can f imagine, lying with just a few inches or a few millimetres of fabric uh, between you and the, uh, and the really cold wet, it gets into your bones, but it was worth the wait. He sat up, we knew he was going to, he sat there nice and alert, and before you know it, he's up on his feet, gives us a good broadside shot as he just goes to stretch out his front legs, and bam. The Rugram 77 all weather, 185 grain Lepur Mega did their job perfectly. He's off straight off his feet and he's ready for us to go and pick him up. So good, great stalk, nice patient setup for the shot, perfect delivery, and we've got ourselves another wee staggy in the bag. I head across the valley to claim my quarry and find myself a very beautiful young stag. Okay, so he's gone. Well, we saw that from the shot, you know, he uh, he dropped straight away. So it was a 159 yard shot in the end. Um, we've been very patient. We'd waited in the cold, wet, miserable grass. And now, here's our prize. Now, he's not a particularly old stag, I'd say, Oh, he's got sunk in there though when he fell. So he's what? Two, three, three years old maybe. Much, much whiter, uh, paler in colour than the others. Actually quite bigger in the body than I was expecting when I saw him. Uh, but he's in great shape. Uh, he wasn't roaring like the others, but he had like a little baby roar though when he was sleeping. Uh, Willie tried roaring a couple of times, but you know, he didn't respond. Clearly he's been uh, pushed around a little bit during the rut, but otherwise magnificent specimen. Let's flick him over and see if we can have a look at the entry wound. All right, okay, it's a little bit forward in the shoulder, but uh, as I say, he stretched his front legs out, uh, so you had to pull the shot a little bit forward, but he went straight down. So as you can see, the shot was quite far forward. Um, Maybe didn't give it enough wind. I gave it about three or four inches of wind. So the entry wound was slightly in the front of the shoulder uh, and it exited about the same place as well. So still great shot, 185 grains. It's a lot of bullet there. Took him straight off his feet. He rolled maybe about 15 yards off the side of the mountain, came to a full rest and here he is. Now we're right at the top here. So getting him down is gonna be a bit tricky, but Another successful stalk, another great day out, and another beautiful 65-ish kilo stag ready to go to the game dealer, so job well done. Another fantastic help with Service UK and my guide Willie Merrilees in the beautiful wilderness of West Scotland. It's also another great performance, my trusty Rugram 77 Hawkeye or Weather. To find out more about this great all-round hunting rifle, visit vikingarms.com or click on this link to see my video review. 
Subscribe to Team Wild TV for the best hunting, air gun, gear and bow hunting videos on YouTube.